Hi and welcome back to the next lesson. So in this lesson we will continue and we'll create the groupings uh, or the risk pre and post mitigation risk counts for the the high, the medium and the low risk groupings here. And it's pretty straightforward. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and add in a new, just make sure that it's got selected, a new column chart here. I think that one will be fine. And as the axis we're going to use this risk grouping that we created in the first in the first lesson. So remember we created these risk groupings where we grouped numbers uh, and sections as being high, low and medium. So we're going to start off with the risk grouping for pre-mitigation. That's going to be an axis. And then we're going to use the count of work orders for the current week. So this really just speed things up. So here we can see we've got the values here. Now because we've prefixed these with a 1, 2 and a 3, we can get away with sorting this by the number and I'm going to do it descending. Uh, yeah, low, medium, high. So that's fine for just now. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to do a little bit of formatting here. So the first thing we want to do before I copy it is make sure this looks good because and it looks exactly how we want because then we can just copy it and replace the category with the post mitigation um, risk grouping. So let's tidy up some of the stuff here. So we'll get rid of this axis here at the side. And the reason I'm, I'm getting rid of this axis is I, I just like it to be nice and clean. There's not a lot of data here and it's fairly obvious. We're going to add a label here. Um, so it's fairly obvious what the numbers are. We don't need an axis to help put it into some sort of scale. So we can get rid of the, the Y axis. And we can also get rid of the Y axis title. And that just gives us a little bit of extra space here. Um, we can leave the title for just now. We might ch we will change that. In fact, we will change that just now. Let's change the title for the whole chart. So we'll go in here, go to title, and we're going to call this one pre mitigation defects by risk group. And I'm going to just make it a little bit neater here, move it in a little bit, just to align with that. Um, we'll look at making it a bit centered. Yep, I'll leave that centered there. Uh, next thing, color. Um, or first of all, are we going to leave the bottom bit here? Risk grouping. I think we've got we've got defect by risk grouping. We've got it in the title, so I'm actually going to take it away from the bottom here again to just to make it clear. That it gives a little bit of extra space and um, keep it as, as obvious as possible. So let's get rid of the y-axis. In fact, leave the y-axis. It's only the y-axis title we need to get rid of. We do want to... Is it here? Okay, so now we've got low, medium, high. We can see the numbers. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some colouring to this to make sure that the numbers or the colours match up. Now this is going to be quite a colourful chart and I don't really normally like to use too much colour but I think it makes total sense to use it in this instance to draw the eye to between the sections here. Okay, so to get the conditional colour then, really straightforward. And we're just going to go in to the data colours. And we're going to go and show all, first of all. And that shows all the categories. And we're going to go and change these. So we're going to go and choose the green one, first of all, which is CCEFDC. Oops, C, C, E, F, D, C. Now these colours are in the actual PowerPoint presentation, um, but you just need to add them in. And then we're going to add the other one, which is going to be F, 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 2, C, C. And then the final one is the red colour. Oh. Which I'm going to be F, five C C C C. Okay, so we can see now we've got a really good connection between these two here. We've still got that same post, so let's go and change that title there to pre. Right, and that's a start to kind of build a picture here. So all I need to do is copy that and paste it. And that's gonna go just below here. We can play about with the with the actual positioning later on. Go to title change that to post and then change the category in here to be 
post mitigation risk grouping. So risk group post mitigation. And we'll get rid of the P premium. Okay. So now we can see, oh, unfortunately it's changed the colours. Ah, okay, because it's a different category, so we will need to put the colours in. But hopefully, if we go back into the data colours, they will have um, been stored. Yep, yeah. okay, so low is going to be that colour there. Medium is going to be that colour there. And high is going to be that colour there. Right, okay, so we can see there's a, a continuity between the colours here and the risk groupings here. And if we want to see the, the picture, with a certain risk grouping, then we can see it there. Okay, now it's the filters are a little bit sc screwed up just now, so we're going to go and fix those later on. But for just now, we're going to leave it as it is. And in the next lesson, we're going to go on and we're going to start building a before and after analysis. I'll talk to you in the next lesson.